Guys, thank you so much for coming in here to see me at Body by Design. My name is Josh Wheeler and I'm one of the head coaches here at Body by Design. And I'm here to show you my meat order today and normally where I go and what I purchase. Um, like most fitness professionals, I'm always advocating buy local, go to your farmer's markets. Um, within almost every city I've ever lived in, I've always been able to find some sort of butchery, or a side corner store that sold locally grown meats for way cheaper than the supermarkets. For some reason, you never see advertising from these people and you never hear about these people in the news and I'm not 100% sure why. As we know from the grocery stores, the meat in which we're getting are coming from sick animals. If you've ever YouTubed uh, Earthlings, would be a very great place for you to start if you have no idea what our industrial meat industry is. It will show you the insides and the outsides and won't hold anything back. And believe me, after you're done watching this, you're probably going to run down to your local dealers to find yourself some real good meat. Okay? So we know with the meats we're getting in the grocery stores, they're sick. They're full of probi or probiotics. Sorry, they're full of chemicals and animal hormones, steroids, all the rest. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of what I bought where I bought it, how much it is, and I'll show you a few differences between the colorization of the meats um, and the differences between what I have and what you're going to see in the grocery store, okay? So right here is a good example. It almost takes up my whole, my whole counter space here. All of this, okay? Now you can buy this at a package deal. I get most of my meats at Chaters on Wise Road in Dartmouth. Uh, another great place to go is also Gateway Meat Markets. It's out by uh, Cherry Brook area just after uh, Coal Harbor. Again, very good place. These places run at about half the price of the grocery store and everything is locally bought and butchered. So that means here, especially in the Maritimes, that means they're not fed with any corn or any gross things. Like they're fed what they're supposed to be fed. They're out in the field, out in the sun is the way it's supposed to be. So what we got for $105, so roughly would last me about a week and a half to two weeks worth of meat. I've got bags of chicken legs, okay? I don't need a lot of chicken breast because I feel better off of the dark fattier meats. So inside there's one, two, three, there's about seven legs per bag. Okay, now these are from chickens that are not kept 24 hours in the dark. These are actual live chickens that get to run around and live their little chicken life, okay? Um, oh, and the colorization, if you can really get into this. My camera's not all that great, so it's hard to see the, the tone of the pink and how, ah, oh, can you really, yeah, the color's not seen too great, and it's the color that's right in through here. What you're seeing is really light pink hues, okay? And it does not look red. Even when you're finding where there's like little bits of blood stains, it's red, but it's not red, red. That's because the meat you're getting are full of dyes, okay? And they are colored before they're sold to you. I'll get just more chicken legs. I think this is, I think this is hamburger meat. Okay. There. The colorization of this. Can you see the color of the red? The red is a very deep, dark, natural red. Okay? It is not a bright colored red. Like if it looks like my shirt or something close to it, we know that it's not right and that there's something wrong. Um, pork chops. Here's another one. I won't show you everything, but I'll give you the basics. Okay, can you see the color? That is a pinkish red color. It is not white. Pork is not the other white meats, okay? So if you're seeing that it is looking red around the bone and that it's looking very white, you know that it came from a sick pig that's full of tumors. And when you watch earthlings, you'll see the tumors actually hanging off of the pig and dragging it on the ground. It's absolutely disgusting. And I got some real bacon. This is naturally cured, okay? This isn't like the crap bacon you're paying $8 for a pound for. Can you see the, the color of it? 
see that? You notice, man, the colors are not nearly, nearly, nearly as intense as you would normally see it. Um, what else do we have here? We've got some spare ribs. Again, just like everything, I can go from beef to pork. Sorry, I'm not good with the camera yet. <laughs> everything you see the colors are not intense so you know that when it's a really bright red or is a bright brown or pink or white that there is something not right okay i don't want this video to drag on too long where we're at the five minute mark so for 105 dollars i got roughly four pounds of hamburger meat i got two of these full of spare ribs i got half a ham more lean ground meat, a pound each. A roast, that's about two pounds. Actually, it's just a little more than two pounds. Three pounds of real bacon. Breakfast sausages that were handmade. Um, I think there's about a dozen in there. I think it works out to be about a pound and a half. Um, these pork chops, we got about 10 of these pork chops. More pork chops. And this is stew meat, like hamburger meat. And another two and a half pound roast. On top of all these chicken legs, okay? So this is roughly enough meat to feed me and my girlfriend for the next week and a half to two weeks, okay? Um, and we'll probably run through probably around three pounds of protein between the two of us in a two week period as well. So all in all, we are getting top quality meats for half the price of the grocery store that make us feel better, that give us better fat loss and better muscle growth. We're buying all of our vegetables roughly from the same places. We go to Dave's, that's just out past Cool Harbor, Dave's Vegetable Stand. Again, the vegetables are more likely to be local. And if they're not local, they're going to be the freshest product that they can absolutely find for like, you know, 30, 40% cheaper than the grocery store. Okay, guys? So again, it's all in the choices you make. Make the right choices. These are simple choices. Trust me, the food will taste better. Okay? So again, that's Chaters on Wise Road. And that is Gateway Meat Markets on Main Street, El Paso Cool Harbor. And Dave's Vegetable Stand, that's roughly on the same Main Street, El Paso Cool Harbor. And I believe Blue Hill Farms on Hammonds Plains Road, out past Bedford, also a great place to go. You see them at the market every week too. All right, guys? So again, thanks for coming in here to see me. My name is Josh, and remember, it is never too late to live the life you could have lived. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.